All right, let me pull up my live stream on my tablet. Welcome everybody. If you're here, say hello. We have another live stream haul because I've been buying too much stuff. All right. Perfect. Okay. All right. When you pop in, just say hi. I have an assistant. She is going to sniff through all of my bags. Possibly put her wet nose on everything. Kurt Luke, that would be my husband. Hello, husband, in the next room. <laughs> say hi when you come in, guys. I'm just going to wait for just like maybe a minute just to let some people come in. So I went shopping and I bought some more stuff. Hi, Wally. Nice to see you. Glad you're here. I got a lot of stuff, guys. So what I need to do is... Hi, Sharon. Hi. Just want to show you everything from uh, Hobby Lobby. Then I can literally throw it in every corner and start using it. I'd already planned out uh, videos that I'm going to record. I have a video already, already done, and then I'm going to start my fall stuff. So I needed to, um, oh geez, here's Zoe. She gets jealous. Um, I already got some fall stuff planned. So I want to start taking these things and throwing them in the rest of the chaos. And then happy dance time. Hi, Miss Martha. You're doing a happy dance? <laughs> want to see what I bought? Yeah. Look at all my junk. That's great. So I want to start taking it and putting it, you know, in the beautiful nightmare that is, you know, all of this craft stuff. And I keep forgetting, like, no, I, I can't do that because I need to show people because I bought it. Otherwise, literally, once it leaves the new bag brought home zone, it's, yeah, there's no way I'm going to remember where it actually goes. My lovely assistant here. This is Tootsie, everyone. Tootsie just is here to stick her nose in everything. That's really what she does. She gives it little uh, doggy nose kisses. That's all she does. She blesses everything. <laughs> so I got 10 of you. So I'm going to get started just because I got a lot of stuff and I talk a lot. And y'all know, you know, the jibber jabber doesn't, this area never stops. So I'm going to put my puppy over here and we'll see how that goes. So the main things was I went to Hobby Lobby on Saturday. Today is Monday. Is today Monday? Today's Monday, I believe. Yes, it is. I went to Hobby Lobby on Saturday and then also, excuse me, that was horrible. Um, <laughs> I went to Hobby Lobby two, two days. I went on Friday and Saturday. Friday I went by myself. On Saturday I took my sister because she didn't want anyone to know. But you guys, she'd never been to Hobby Lobby. I think I failed as a sister. Because my sister is a painter. She likes to do some things. She doesn't do most, like, you know, the, the level that I do. Um, but she paints. She hand paints things. And you guys have seen some of the things. I did a, a, a DIY with one of her canvases. She painted me a cotton stem. And I loved it. But she's never been there. So I had to take her. And that was my excuse to go back to a different store. Because they had, it, exactly, exactly, Carol's. It's like, you've never been. And I was like, hold on. You have never been where? You've de Are you sure? And my sister's like, no, yeah, no. I'm like, and she's like, Whitney, don't tell anyone. And I'm like, I'm, I won't tell anyone. Guys, she won't see this, I don't think, but you know. Don't tell her I said that, okay? Secrets between us and however many people watch this over the course of the next few, who knows long. <laughs> so if you're watching this from the future, yeah. I took my sister to a different location because I wanted to see different clearance. My Hobby Lobby, oh, sorry, not my. I, I, I say my just because I'd like to own it. Um, they were clearancing out so much stuff. And uh, they had a sale. All, everything from the spring shop was 66% off. All of their furniture was 75% off. And then pretty much everything else in the store was either 40 or 50% off. Everything was on sale. I have nothing that I... I had no reason to miss the 40% off coupon. So you guys tell me, have you guys anybody... Anybody uh, experienced... 
a need for that 40% coupon. I'm, I may have just went on a good day of the week or something, but I had a ball. I was looking, I'm going to redo the space behind my desk because I want to start, I might change and do some openings on my videos and I want to have some of my DIYs behind me. So I'm going to redo the space behind my desk so I can record from my desk or in my office and do some openings to my videos. So I ended up buying some furniture. So I was looking on Amazon for some shelving so I could put some shelving behind me so I have something to set my DIYs on. And the only thing I found that I really liked was uh, it's a, it was a two piece set two shelves they were three feet long but it was 178 dollars for just the two shelves 179 178 179 and you will not believe <laughs> i have my receipt here instead of getting those two oh look what i did to myself i got the i got shelves at hobby lobby basically is what it is i spent exactly one hundred seventy eight oh nine so you will not believe the amount of junk i got for the same price that i would have only gotten shelves at amazon so i'm glad i waited and i'm glad i went because i was gonna get those shelves and now i got shelves i got two of these these are only about they're about this big you guys can see here i got two of them and these weren't part of the furniture clearance this is wall decor but they were 50% um, off. And one of them was $49.99. And the other one was $57.99. They're identical. They have the same lot numbers on them. They have the same measurements. They have the same wall decor. And basically, when I took them up to the front, they just said that that was the cost of, you know, goods increasing, the cost of everything. So, of course, they honored the smaller one, you know, the, the lower price, because I said I liked that one better. So 50% off of 50 bucks, I got each one for 25. So I spent $50 total on shelving and I'm gonna put them side by side in the back of my office. I am gonna make a video on that. So you guys will see just how outdated my office looks. You can see here, I don't know if you can see the wall color. The walls in my house are all this color. It's a khaki color. I wanna do more farmhouse. I mean, I already got a lot of farmhouse, you guys know, but all my walls are this color in my house. So. I wanted to try to keep it within the same theme, but also I'm, I want to add farm. I want to go for it. You know what I'm saying? I love farmhouse so much. Let's see. Hi, Janet and Lynn. Howdy, Whitney. How you spent lots of money for me too? Absolutely. I have no problem doing that. Excuse me. Scam. Mr. Scam Likely's calling me. I'm so popular. I think he likes me. I should tell my husband. <laughs> Better watch out. You guys get those? Does it say scam likely every time somebody calls? I can't be the only one. <laughs> Honestly, they're the only ones that call me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> love awesome deals like that. Yes, talk, tell me about it. So, I, I I didn't find the shelves at first. I was getting a little, like, all right, I came here for shelves. And then I found all this other stuff. So, these aren't going anywhere. These are, these are for DIYs. These aren't for my thing. I just found both of these. They're a great size. I like the picture frame detail because we're going to either paint or do something. But they're a decent size. And I can't tell because they put the sticker over it. So they were $6.99. So I got these guys for $7 each. They were originally $27.99. So, I mean, even if you figure that's that was their regular retail price, obviously they wouldn't have been that much anyways. Even 50% off of that. So I got both of these for $6. So one of them I have a fall DIY planned for. So stay tuned. You will see that in an upcoming video. But I grabbed, I grabbed both of them just because you can't be mad at seven dollars yeah it's a seven dollar frame and it's a very good size you see this it's about from here to here <laughs> you know that 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 exact measurement from elbow oh what is this elbow elbow pit to the the tip of my index finger that's how long by you know elbow by elbow that's how i measure things guys it's great tell me how you guys measure now these guys when i saw them these were $8.74 on clearance. Not mad at all. Originally $34.99. Well, really $35. $35. Hold up. Okay, $27. The difference is crazy. This is, you see this? This is a heavy, thick, very well-built canvas. Okay? Hi, Nancy. Thanks for joining me. Welcome, guys. This is a nice canvas, and it's, it's a buffalo check. I don't know if Buffalo, okay, there's like that huge argument about Buffalo check being 
Buffalo check is only black and white. Or is it called gingham? Or is it called plaid? Buffalo check is a pattern in my definition. I'm going to define it as a pattern. I'm ready for fall. Done with this heat. Agreed, Janet. So agreed. That's why I'm inside with most of the windows closed. And I keep my house like a morgue. Dark and cold because it's 112 degrees outside. And it makes you hate yourself. <laughs> Except when you go to Hobby Lobby, then it's worth it. Actually, I went to Hobby Lobby when we actually had, we had some rain. And it was really weird because I'm not used to rain, but it was still, it was a very nice day. I got two of these guys though, because they're going to go on either side behind me. And we are going to set up, I bought some hooks. I'm going to actually have, I need to, I'll probably, I'm going to have to get a drill, but we're going to install hooks into the front of these. And I'm going to hang my DIYs on these. I have two of them. I bought two. I was worried that the color wouldn't look good with my paint, but as you can see, I think they complement each other fine because we are not going to be focusing on much of it as I put a, I'll put a hook here. Also their hooks, their knobs, everything was on sale. I got two hooks. You guys are going to love that. I'm going to put a hook in the middle and I'm going to hang different DIYs. So if I make swags or if I make reeds, you guys are going to see those displayed. Um, and that will be kind of behind me as I'm talking to you guys or on the camera and those types of things. Hi, Amber. Totally, totally glad you guys are here. So working off of this, um, somewhere those hooks are in these bags and I will dig through it. But what I wanted to show you next was I did grab two of these pre-made wreaths from Hobby Lobby. Normally I do not buy things like this pre-made because I can usually make it for cheaper. In this instance, this I cannot. This is very full. Hi from Georgia. Hi Deborah. Welcome. Thanks for joining me. So these are actually really full. They're very nice. And all of their wreaths in their floral department, wreaths and swags and garlands, they were all 50% off. So I could get two for the price of one. And when I did the math, to buy this size of a wreath would have cost $8. And the wreaths that they were selling there, it's, this is a different type of like wickery, grapeviney type stuff. And it's been spray painted or it's been, you know, commercially painted. But I like this type for bulk items. You know, I like this type of wreath when you're making something that you're not going to see it. I, I wouldn't want to waste a grapevine on it because a grapevine, you want to see the, the, the wreath beauty. You don't want to cover it up too much, in my opinion. Now, you're getting a cheaper one, or if you're buying them in bulk, they're going to get some that are kind of nasty. That I can see, cover them up. Who cares? No one sees it. But in this instance, to buy a garland or to buy the picks to make it as full as this is, I would spend well over $25 to make two of them. So these were $24.99, they were 50% off, so I bought two of them. And this is just because I'm going to do a fall theme video when I remodel the back, well not remodel, but when I redo the, the back wall behind my office desk so that I can start uh, recording some openings for my videos. So this was the premise here. We're gonna put a hook here in the middle and this again will be interchangeable. This will be the permanent fixture on the wall and then we're gonna change out what goes on front on the front of these. So I did buy, I bought two, okay, and they're so floofy. I like how floofy they are. Hi, Nancy. Finally caught you live. Love your videos. Thank you, Nancy. Love having you here. So that was the idea for that. So this is more right here. This idea is more general purpose or neutral every day. This, this will last into every other holiday. And then because I'm not going to be using anything permanent in them, you can transition this in your home decor to any holiday or season. So first, before I make, I'm gonna, I plan on making some Christmas, smaller Christmas swags. So you will see these on these in the future on the next videos, those coming forward. But for right now, you're gonna see, and I put this picture, in, you guys, on my YouTube and in my Instagram the other day. I had a cart, get myself in trouble in the hoblobs. So I had already purchased these the day before. And when I went back with my sister, I found some more pretty goodies. Because, you know, I'm not buying floral. I've mentioned that quite a few times in my videos. I'm not buying any florals, guys. I have a lot, and I'm going to use my stash. So I'm not buying florals. But look what I got. <laughs> so these guys here, I mean, the camera, maybe it might be my lighting, but there are some green accents to these berries. And then these fuzzy, fluffy, feathery things make me happy. And then I've got two gorgeous... I guess they're like faux velveteen. I don't know what they are. These punkies. Love them all. All of their fall, 40% off. So, I mean, 40% off $1.99. This was 
$3.99 and these are $1.90. So these were like a dollar and 20 cents each. So that's still dollar 19. This is still cheaper than Dollar Tree right now. So this was a dollar 19 on sale. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes if you guys really look into it, some people might, so I've, I got some comments saying, oh, you know, I can't afford Hobby Lobby. I can't afford Michael's. If you look for the deals and the sales, you can. You just have to do a little bit more kind of footwork. You got to do a little bit more of the maths, a little bit more of the sleuthing. And then you got to do a little bit more of the timing, you know, make sure you're there during these sales. But this is a very good quality. You know, the stuff at Dollar Tree is coming up. And I used to hate on Dollar Tree a lot, guys. Back in the day, I wouldn't touch Dollar Tree with a 10-foot pole. Now, you can't keep me out of there. <laughs> but again, some of, their, some of their florals are still, they're coming up in there. And I, I can't. I can't say anything about it anymore because I'm liking them and I'm using them, but I haven't seen any pumpkins yet. Remember I told you guys, my dollar trees are empty of fall stuff so far, but, um, these little pumpkins, this is a dollar 19, these berries with the 40% off dollar 19. And that's the sale they're running right now. So there are things you can still grab at dollar tree with that. I mean, at a hobby lobby and Michael's and things without worrying that, Oh, I have to, I can only get stuff at dollar tree because I'm on a budget everybody's on a budget. We can do what we do. You just have to kind of travel. You got to have the time. And sometimes it takes a lot. I w I spent a few hours at these stores, guys, hours, not just minutes, hours. My feet were hurting. But anyways, these guys will be added in here. You will see me do that in a future video. I'm going to show you guys exactly what it looks like now. You're going to see me take everything down, hang up the new stuff. And then on these beautiful little shelves that I got, you're going to see all the DIYs I'm doing for each particular video. And you know, the things that I plan on putting in them, those things, so on and so forth. So that was it. Where did I put the, okay. And then in the clearance guys here. So that's the major plan for my office and the rehaul or the redecorating of uh, back behind my desk in my office. That's where we got so far. But those would make some cute Halloween decor with a little bit of work. I get in trouble at Hobby Lobby too. Yeah, Deborah, I'm in trouble and then, you know what it is? It's, I get myself in trouble. Nobody, like my husband is is like awesome. He does not, like I don't have to hide my bags from him. When I tell him I'm going, I'm like going to Hobby Lobby. He's like, all right, talk to you later. And I'm like, call me if you haven't heard from me in a few hours. And he'll message, how are you doing? <laughs> you, want, you want dinner? You've been gone for a while. I'm like, sure, sure. I can stop. I'll come up for air. I'll come up for air. <laughs> totally. All right. So now I got more clearance. The clearance at Hobby Lobby is Awesome. It just, it makes me happy. It makes me so happy. Um, okay. This was a splurge. It's not clearance. It was 40% off though. So it's, I love pumpkins. I don't know what it is. I get cuteness aggression and I want to grab them and squeeze them and hold them and never let them go. So I couldn't help it. I just, I just like this pumpkin. I like the little stem on it. So this was my birthday gift, my birthday until September, but I got myself something not like I don't get myself everything, but pretty much this is all mine. But um, I, I splurged on this. So even then $9.99 and with 40% off. So I got it for six bucks. I can't, you can't be mad. It ended up being $5.99. And this is a good piece. So you guys will see that in the fall setup on um, these new shelves and this new background. Also, a lot of you guys had mentioned before, I asked a couple times, if you wanted to see me setting up a vignette or putting out, you know, putting up the decor and showing how I would stage things or how I would use the things that I made in a decor piece or in a setup, not just take pictures of it, you know, with a backdrop and lighting, how I'd actually set it up. So I'm going to add some of those in or even possibly do just separate videos. I'm not sure, but you'll probably see those added into the DIY or into the craft videos. You'll see those as well. So this will be something that we're going to add in. And I can't promise that it probably won't stay out year round because I'm weird and I have pumpkins in my house year round. But y'all already know that. <laughs> y'all already know I'm weird. Now these two things, these are just, um, these are just pictures I got on clearance. I went down the same aisle with all of these, uh, the, all their wall decor and framed, um, not picture frames, but this was like wall, for, wall decor pieces with already with pictures in them. They were already clearanced out. So these are good size. They have really good wood. They have good construction and you really can't get too mad at the prices of them, even though we're going to paint all over it. We're going to add stuff to it. I mean, this was $3 and 24 cents. Can you guys see that? $3 and 24 cents. I didn't even know what I wanted it for. I just knew that it was $3 and 24 cents. I was going to buy it. The size is good. The wood is good. It comes with a free 
I'll say it, it also comes with a free um, little garland there. That's, it's obviously part of the dang picture, but whatever I got to do to sell myself on it, right? Yes, show everything. I love your crafts. Thank you, Amber. I love to hear that. I love to hear that. Sometimes I figure I'm like, well, someone will like it. Somebody won't. But hopefully, if you don't like it, you just move on. Not everybody has to like everything. You know what I'm saying? We're all different, which is probably why you find something different for what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I don't know where I'm going with that. But anyways, $3.24. Couldn't say no. So I didn't even care what was in it. Just put that right in the cart when I saw the price. Thank you so much. $3. This one, $4.90. Okay, no, save. Original price, $12.99. Sometimes that helps. Now, you know, you're looking at original price. No one ever, not majority of people don't ever buy it. Guaranteed this thing was 30, 40, and then 50% off before they took the, you know, the, the, the 75 off of clearances and, and furniture and stuff. So three dollars and twenty-four cents. I'm not mad at you, and I don't. I don't care what that was. I want it. This guy was originally nineteen ninety-nine, and it got down to four ninety-nine. So I paid five bucks for this, but I have paid more for regular picture frames with nothing in the middle of them, and I liked the detail on this. This is a very popular thing to do with you know wood beads or the half beads and then gluing them all on. But this is going to look really really nice with some chalk paint and then some probably distressing. Who knows? Antique wax. I like the color of it already, and again. These are really good construction pieces. These these are, every once in a while, if you just kind of throw a few extra dollars towards investing in a piece, you can switch this out. You can even do the same type of thing. Put some of that Dollar Tree wallpaper that they were selling or some sort of contact paper or even craft paper or scrapbook paper behind here. Ad, uh, adhere a hook to it and then you could put a little mini wreath on here and then hang that somewhere so this would be your normal piece and you could switch out your decor. I'm going to show you guys how to make a swag or a mini swag out of nothing but the base would end up being like a piece of styrofoam. So you don't really need to have an actual container. You can just make a floral swag for yourself, for your door, for above your, your windows, or above windows anywhere. Well, we can make little mini ones out of smaller pieces of, of styrofoam. So that's going to be a video I got coming soon. And these little extra, you know, clearance pieces, picture frames, you name it, um, they're the best thing that you can use to hang them through. So that was part of the reason, other than the fact that it was just a smoking deal and I couldn't say no. Everything had a reason. And some of the reasons were because I want it. <laughs> um, now their wood stuff, like all their other little stuff was just regular, like some of it was 30% off, but majority of the stuff I bought was either 50% off, 66% off, or 75% off. So I had a good old time. Now their false, here's some more false stuff I got. It wasn't, uh, this was 40% off. And I kept thinking, oh, Whitney, you know, do you guys ever fill the card up and then feel guilty and then think, what can I take out and put back? And then when you sit there, and I was going to, I got this, it says, hello, fall. And I don't know if that's backwards for you guys, if you can see here, it says, hello, fall. I planned on possibly putting it on one of these guys, you know, doing some painting things, maybe some, a backdrop with some really cute fall paper, because I love this so cute and i'm like well whitney it's kind of big what are you doing you know even if if i put it in my coffee shop for sale then i gotta box it and ship it this it was two dollars and forty some cents two dollars and forty some forty eight cents or something like that and i'm sitting here thinking oh i'm spending too much money two dollars and forty eight cents is not going to break the bank whitney if you put this back you're gonna you're gonna want it and then when we go back to get it it will be gone that is my luck when i go i should have i should have bought it I literally verbally abused myself the whole time I was shopping. I should have just bought it. So I bit, the, I bit the bullet. I bought it. I bit the bullet and bought it. So now I'm showing you, which means it's going to force me to commit to put it in a DIY because you're seeing it here. So making that promise. I will be making something very shortly coming within the next few weeks. That will be fun. All of their fall stuff. This is just their fall crafts department. So these were 40% off. And then these guys turned out to be um, even the same. This one turned out to be even less than that. It was $2.99 with 40% off. I mean, you can't be mad. Remember, I still have a sunflower video coming coming towards you guys too. I'm, I'm not. The lemon I got out of, I, I lost time on lemons. It's a little bit too late for lemons. But you're going to get a sunflower. It'll be more fall sunflowers, but you're getting a sunflower video coming soon. So I bought two of these. I am guaranteeing you I will use one in a sunflower video coming up soon. But just another sunflower wood blank. They were 
in the area. They were still stocking all the shelves at my Hobby Lobby, so there was a lot of empty holes, but they had a decent amount out at, at the Hobby Lobby by me. I couldn't say no to these. Let's see, what's this? Marlene. Hi, Marlene. Love your channel. I don't know if your beautiful creations are my favorite part or the LOLs I get every time. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I have jokes. Yeah. I, I'm nothing if not self in Are you eating? Th Kids. My wiener dog decided she wanted to snack on my holiday berries. These are not doggy food. And now mommy looks crazy because they don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Anyways, back to that. I'm nothing if not self-entertained. Jokes all the time. Non-stop. <laughs> Thank you, Marlene. So I ran past these on my way out. I was leaving. I promise you, I was, I was ready to get in that line and do nothing. And then I saw pumpkins and sunflowers. So once again, there are how many in here? There are 50 napkins in here. I do not need 50 napkins, so we'll be using these, in the, in the, you know, for for the actual intended purpose. But they'll be in my craft room for a while, so you're going to see probably decoupage. Well, I guarantee you're going to see me decoupage this onto something. And possibly more. I'm not sure. Probably some plates. or I don't know, but I couldn't say no. This was a beautiful, beautiful set of napkins. And again, 40% off of $4.99. Might not have been the cheapest, but again... I'm a little impatient, and I just got an email that Dollar Tree is bringing out more fall stuff. Now, everybody over on the East Coast has got their stuff, but our West Coast people out here, me, it's not reaching me yet. I'm going to go in a couple days. I'm giving them another couple days, and we will see what happens because I'm feeling neglected and left out. And I know Dollar Tree cares deeply about one person in Las Vegas. <laughs> but in any event... I will go and I will look because I saw in an email they had some cute napkins too. I guarantee, I hopefully it won't be a pack of 50. Otherwise, I'll be using, you know, it doesn't matter. I'll use pumpkin napkins year round. I got pumpkins out anyway. Um, next, now you guys, sorry, this isn't in any order. I was going to try to organize it, but I figured I needed to just get in here and do it and talk to you guys and get it all out. And hopefully it won't take too long, but I sort of want it to be long because some of you guys miss me and that makes me feel so good. So thank you. Texas, best rock. I love your sense of humor. Well, thank you. Thank you, Texas. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad that I'm not alone in my weird, sarcastic, you know, every, eh, I do this a lot with my sister. <laughs> we do this too. Okay. Yeah. That's what we do. Or just, we can look at each other across the store and then she'll see my face and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I usually can't hide my expression anymore. So I understand why some of you guys miss seeing me while I'm crafting because a lot of times um yeah it is pretty funny especially when I have those fails during the crafts those fails <laughs> those fails are just it, I'm sitting there laughing like to the point like I have to get up and go tell my husband you'll never believe what I did I just burnt all the flesh off of my finger it was great and I recorded it it's great of course I'm not to leave it out because it's horrible but it's funny <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you Nancy I love having you here I got scrapbook paper and that's another thing because I had just I've been cleaning in here man I've been cleaning in here and I have two rooms embarrassing as it is I have two rooms and I feel bad do you guys ever feel bad that your stashes are so big do you ever make you feel bad it's like you have this guilt but you don't know why because everybody has hobbies these are things that bring you joy you should bring yourself your own joy but at the same time half the time if I'm not giving it to people then there, it's getting donated to charities. There's a there's my mom's church group, and uh, my my mom and my sister have a church that they go to, and they have a food bank, and they'll give out. I gave them lots of Christmas stuff a few years ago, so they could give it out to some of those families. That does not hurt me at all. That makes me feel really good. So they'll have decorations at Christmas time, but for some reason, I told myself I would not buy any more florals, and I didn't. <laughs> I also said I wasn't gonna get scrapbook paper, but this was fifty percent off. So, 50% off a of $22, so I spent $11 on it. But look at all the sunflowers. Look at them. Look at it. <laughs> it is amazing. And there's one in here with buffalo check behind it, uh, yeah, right here. And then this guy here, because remember, you guys are going to have a sunflower video, so I couldn't say no. Also, I haven't bought us a, a pack of, of scrapbook paper for a long time. It's been years. 
but the ones that I have bought, I've used maybe two sheets out of. So I just wish there was a way I could kind of de-stash some of it and then still donate some, but you know, it would make somebody's day to go into a Goodwill or to go into a thrift store and find some really nice stuff. So it doesn't really bother me too much, but yeah, I, I couldn't pass this up. Also, all of their scrapbook 50% off. So uh, 59 cents for the, these are the eight and a half by 11. So like the regular uh, size paper ones. I got two of these guys cause they're pretty. So this is all fall stuff, stuff I haven't seen cause I have stuff from years in the past. And here comes my puppy again. Please don't get caught in the cord, gorgeous baby. Um, and then I got some punkies, turquoise. I still love that turquoise is still in style because I love adding that turquoise blue with, um, with the orange. It's just, it's a gorgeous, it's a gorgeous theme for uh, fall. I tend to go with white and green for some reason for my own home, but I can't say no. Here's another one. Look at the blue with the white sunflower or the cream colored sunflower. And then we got the, the blue Buffalo check in the background. I love it. I, c I couldn't say no. I got two of each of them because you know, it's very popular to make the little pictures or get the picture frames from Dollar Tree and replace the backings with it. And then here's another one. It says thankful has a really pretty turquoise uh, leaf in it. And again, all of these like just speak to me. So I had to grab them because they like them and they're pretty. I like them a lot. <laughs> Wally, yes. And I keep adding to the madness. All right, good. So I'm not the only one who feels bad. <laughs> I have buyer's guilt. I know. And, uh, I feel you. I'm, I'm with you. I'm glad I'm not alone, Wally. My, my stash is all over my house. My husband died 10 years ago. I'm sorry, Nancy. My stash moved in. You have to keep a sense of humor. I give away almost everything I make. And you know what? Sometimes that's just how it works out. I tried with with uh, Etsy for a long time and I never made any sales. So it is what it is. I like making stuff. It still brings me joy. It still makes me happy. So if I can give some stuff away to people who really would never, ever be able to afford it on, the, on you know, in the bigger picture, then that's fine. And that's not always goodwill. That's like finding charities that will give these decorations to people who literally can't. So the food banks are really good at taking them, at least one or two of them out here. They'll take those things, especially at the holidays, and they will give it to the people that are coming in for their Thanksgiving meals or for their Christmas meals. So those people are going to get a Christmas wreath or a, or a swag or a centerpiece, and they can bring that into their homes, and it gives them a little bit of happiness, then I'm, I'm fine with it. If I'm in a position where I can give it away, then I'll do it. I have no problem with that. At some point, if I'm ever in a position where I can't, I know that somebody would do the same for me. I know it gets really easy to say that, you know, especially living in Las Vegas, it doesn't seem as people as are nice to each other as they are, but there are a lot out there. We just have to dig for them. And, you know, we all exist everywhere. So it doesn't bother me to give stuff away. She needs to stop eating everything and quit licking my foot, please. Thank you. She's so gorgeous. On to more clearance. I do not know what I'm going to do with these, but they're beautiful. They were also on clearance, $3.29. Now, do you see why I'm so excited? These are prices that you can't beat. These aren't like, oh, this is $10 and $7. No, $3.29. This is a nice thick wood. I don't even know what these are. Driftwood Dreams Collection, Hobby Lobby, blah, 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 blah. Table decor, originally $13.99. Says it's table decor. So this might be a charger of some sort. But I also bought a charger. Um, this one was really pretty. I like the scallop edge on it because, excuse me, I saw a picture frame in there. It was really cute and it had some wooden beads on it, but I didn't want to buy it. Sorry. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to dupe it. So I might, you know, try my hand at duping some things. I also have a pumpkin that I'm going to try to dupe because they wanted way too much money for it. And apparently black is not the color to wear when you're going through all of your dusty haul items so anyways so i bought a charger so this is a charger you know charger is a little bit flatter so you can put your you know your 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 plates and your your dinner sets on them right but this is not flat this is kind of almost like a bowl you know it's the same size i guess but and i don't know what this is this just says table decor and this one says home decor not intended for food use these were on clearance for a dollar 99 so I don't know. Actually, $1.99 is a regular price, isn't it? 
I don't know, but I, I saw uh, yellow and red, and I thought, oh, stay, I'll buy it. So I got one. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a picture out of it. Cute little thing. I'm gonna put some wooden beads around the outside. The half beads. We're gonna stain them. I want to see how it's gonna work out, just because this is the glossy finish on it. So we may have to do something with Mod Podge or sandpaper. Who knows? But I will test it out. You guys will see, and you will find out with me. But these, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I figure I could do like a tear tray, but I don't need one. But I could make one. But, I mean, they're a decent size, or even just use the one for the bottom. Or I could do the same thing and make pictures out of these, too. Make, make wall hangings out of these, because you could easily... They're, they're wood. These are wood, like almost like a pressed board. Yeah, these are like a pressed board wood. So you could put even a picture frame, a, a picture holder on the back, or even just a thing back here, so... Or, yeah, you could do a centerpiece out of this, too. I saw the word centerpiece. Would love to see you make... A centerpiece out of one of those chargers. Yeah, we could do something floofy. Something floofy and florally. Fluffy happiness. Fluffy happiness right here. With pumpkins. <laughs> Any of you guys get sick of pumpkins? Because just, just, you might want to take a break for a while. Because it's now the season where I have an excuse to go crazy. Because I'm going <laughs> to. The rest of the year, I'm just the crazy one that has pumpkins out all the time anyways. What are you doing, Zoe? Kids. Don't have a babysitter. <laughs> now, these guys. Okay, this isn't spring shop. I couldn't say no to this one. This one was also a splurge because, you know, I only got myself the pumpkin. Uh, $14.99, 40% off. Can't remember what that is. Do the math. But it had pumpkins on it. It's super pretty. And it's going to go in my little vignette setup thingy. So this is one of the little home decor items you would buy yourself that you know you're going to put in things. So I would literally just stick this the way it is into your decor, but you can still take your lid, save it, and put all kinds of stuff in here. You could put a pedestal on the bottom of it. You could do all kinds of stuff with this. You could also use this in your kitchen for the season and put, you know, if, if you're one of the people that uses and puts your, your spoons and spatulas out on the counter or put whisks in it, very, very farmhouse to just store your whisks in it. Some people don't like putting stuff on the counters when they're not using it, it gets dirty or dusty. Some people don't mind displaying it. You could also do fake items. So you could go get some really cheap ones from like Big Lots or Walmart or even Dollar Tree and just put stuff in there that you don't really use, but just put it in as a decoration, as a kitchen decoration somewhere. Really cute, but I couldn't say no to it. They had four different or three different ones and I chose pumpkins. They had one with more, more sunflowers, but I chose pumpkins. And I this one wasn't really that good of a deal, but this one was one of the ones where it still made me happy. And again... Even with the couple things that I bought that weren't on really good sale, I still only spent $178 total. And we are we still have two two bags full of crap to go through. When I say crap, I mean beautiful things. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Thanks for joining. Decoupage the plates. That is a good idea. With the napkins I bought. Because I have 50 of them. You're right. That's a good idea. A good idea. Put a pumpkin in there. Or maybe a pumpkin. All right, spring shop is coming. So anything that had this sticker on it was 66% off. So as soon as I found that out, I went a little crazy. I remember looking at this at Hobby Lobby the last time I was there earlier this year and thinking, geez, this is so cute. I love that little handle on it. It's so cute and tiny. You could put all kinds of stuff in it and you can, you know, possibly not, uh, not glue. So you could use it and reuse it. Take, take your items out, put greenery in it, put cotton in it. Uh, take out anything, just put uh, wooden beads in it, uh, put a, a garland, like the little beaded garlands. You can put anything in this. You can put feet on it if you want. So 66% off. I got this sucker for like three bucks, man. Less than, it was $9.99. Normally, see, $10, eh, and even 40% off, I didn't want to pay six bucks for it. That's how, I would say that's how cheap I am, but I'm like, mm, that's not cheap enough. I like, I like it, but not enough to pay that for it. It's just like you say, like there was a comedian that I used to, I, I used to, when Solomon concert, I love his name is Jim Gaffigan. And he was just like, yeah, when you call for takeout, you're basically calling them and telling them, you look, I really like your food, just not enough to come get it myself. So can you bring it to me? Thanks. <laughs> I like this. Just not enough to buy it at the price you think it's worth. Okay. I'll, I'll take it cheaper. So they had a lot of them. Apparently, I wasn't the only one who felt that way because they're 66% off and you guys will see these and I love them and it has a cute little wood handle. End of story. Moving on. 
I like this. <laughs> so I bought it. It doesn't move like you think it would, but it does move. So this is just one of those things where it should probably go in a flower pot because this is, again, part of the spring shop. So this was with all the wind chimes and the outdoor things and the outdoor pots. So this is probably meant to go outside, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'll probably end up putting it in some sort of floral arrangement somewhere. This is a thicker metal, so if I need to cut this shorter, we're going to have to get some sort of better some sort of better kind of clipper or something. I have to go see what, what's out in the garage. But in any event, I couldn't pass it up. It was $5.99, so 66% off of that. I have a receipt, but I'm not going to make you guys watch me search for it in my receipt. Because, again, it's a bit um, ridiculously long. I only bought a pack of gum. I mean, all I get, I went in for some, some Wrigley's, and this is what happened. You know what I'm saying? That's, I just went in for gum. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew I had to go talk to someone. Didn't want to have bad breath. That's all. It's going in for gum. Look how cute and teeny. Little milk can. And this, I'm going to put little wooden feet on it. And that's about all I know I'm going to do. Obviously, there's going to be something in it. So, again, $3.99 and $4.99 with 66% off. You guys will see those. Can't be mad at them. And also, interchangeable because we're going right from fall into Christmas. And you will see a lot of these things being reused for Christmas. You're going to see a lot of transitioning. All of your internal, or sorry, all of your neutral home things that you want to keep out. You will, you will see them all transition. Now, I love these. When I saw these, I actually made a noise, like an audible noise. <laughs> Gum will do that too. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Barbara, sounds familiar. Great. See, every time I talk to y'all, I find out how much we have in common. I just went in for gum. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I just went in for gum. They targeted me. <laughs> I'm the victim here. <laughs> That's right. So, again, these guys right here went around the corner, saw them, made a noise. Then realized that I made an out loud noise and the guy that was stocking the shelves looked at me. Think he'd be used to it by now because he works there and that's probably what a lot of people do when they see something that they love. I have a thing for milk cans. I have a thing for farmhouse. You guys know that. Pumpkins, all that. There's no pumpkins in this, but I have a thing for buffalo chick. Look how cute it is is a milk can and it already has it on there and you don't have to paint it. You don't have to do anything to it. So I bought two. I bought two. I mean, I'm just happy. I'm just happy. $9.99, 66% off. So this is less than what? These were like $3 and something each. Ridiculous. Beautiful. Couldn't help it. I think you guys were... Hi from Alabama. Hi, Linda. Welcome. <laughs> I think you guys are probably expecting something bigger or different, but these made me literally happy. I have a thing for milk cans. I wanted a big one. I mean, I have one out in my living room because my grandma had a milk can growing up on her on the floor in her front room, and she had all kinds of like different um, florals in it. And uh, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I remember looking at it forever and wishing it. And then when my grandma passed, I don't know where it went or who got it, but I would have loved to have had it. So I was looking for a milk can for years. I found it probably about five years ago. I've had it. And it's probably about, like, I'm sitting on the floor now. So if I was on the floor, it's a big milk can. It's probably, I don't, I mean, I don't, I've never been on a farm. So I don't know what a real milk can looks like or if they're even in cans anymore. But <laughs> um, they, there's just something about this look that it reminds me of my grandma. She had a lot of stuff. That, I mean, my grandma was like part farmhouse before farmhouse was a thing. You know, we're talking about back in the way long day, she just did some awesome stuff. That's where I get all this from. This is all from my grandma. My grandma on my mom's side. This is where I'm getting it all from, all her talent. I got it. My sister got her, her infinity for painting and drawing. I cannot do that stuff. <laughs> but these little milk cans made me so happy. I was like, yep, I'm buying two. I'm going to make some arrangements. You guys will see them also on the shelves that I bought here when we're setting all this up in the office. I am making sure that that will happen. It will occur. And everything's going to look so pretty. I'm not going to want to take it down. That's the problem. I've left my mantles up. Like my mantles I've decorated for holidays. I've left them up lo way longer than the holidays. And, you know, people come in the house for, like, if you have to have, you know, 
uh, what do we have? We had the home alarm needed to be something happened with Wi-Fi. The cable guy come over, or we had to, you know, some sort of work had to be done on the pipes or something. Some at some point somebody came over and they come in and they're like, oh, you have a Christmas tree up. They're like, yeah, I sure do. Welcome to my world. That's called a harvest tree, by the way. It's not Christmas yet. <laughs> yes, I put my Christmas tree up in August. As soon as I can get away with it, mostly September, but I like to have, and I'm telling you, my Christmas tree's up probably more than maybe half the year. And then when I put it away, I feel sad, like everything's empty and naked and, and it needs more love. So I was like, we should put, we shouldn't be able to leave them out year round. But yeah, I haven't had my harvest tree out for a couple years, been going through some things, but I, I want to do it this year. I did a Christmas tree a couple years ago, but I didn't put any bulbs on it. I just did floral arrangement, all kinds of berries and flowers, and it was gorgeous and it made me happy. So just do something weird, something different, something if you can't get, if you don't think you can get through all of it because it's just too much, do what you can and it'll still make you happy. Do whatever makes you happy, man. It's just, it's all it is. Do what makes you happy because you're the only one in charge of your happiness, man. I need to go to Hobby Life. I mean, now I need gum. That's right. You know what? I ate all my gum already. I mean, I didn't eat it because, you know, you get slapped and you get in trouble for swallowing gum. I, I mean, I've used it all, so I probably should go back for another pack of gum. It is right next to Costco, but I don't need all that gum. I just need a little bit of gum. You guys, let's, let's meet each other at Hobby Lobby. We need some gum. And some cucumbers. Don't they sell? They sell vegetables there, too. Right, I'm going to go. I need to go grocery shopping. I'm going to stop at Hobby Lobby first. See if they have any good produce. <laughs> Yeah, whatever works, right? Whatever excuses we need. Now, this is my last sack here, but I got a lot of little stuff in it. This right here is actually the first thing I picked up when I went in the first time. This was like in their table decor area. And I'm assuming these are for, it says it's plate decor. Do you see it there? It says fall party plate decor. And I thought that these were awesome only because of the thickness of them. Do you see the thickness of them? And now they're a shiny, like, coppery color, but you can paint these any color you want. So, I mean, chalk paint them up to your heart's content. But do you see that thing? Well, that is a gorgeous piece. And then, of course, Blessed, that's a very popular, that, that applies in so many different ways to so many different situations. So we got Thankful and Blessed. So apparently you're supposed to put these on top of your uh, napkins and your plates on your table settings. But well, I'm going to use these in any other way I can possibly think of. They're a good thickness, and for 40% off of $4.99, this is one of the things that I said, Whitney, it probably won't be here when everything's 50% off, because it's only now 40% off, but I don't know how long it'll be before it actually goes on a deeper sale, so I just grabbed it, and these will probably last me for a few. It's 10. I got five of each, five blessed and five thankfuls, and they're about seven, seven inches by three, or by two and a half inches. So they're a decent size. They're a decent size, of course, and really pretty really pretty font. So I grabbed those just because they were weird and I'm probably going to do something with them. So you shall, might, shall, and will, yes, possibly all of these words, see these coming soon. <laughs> now, this was also spring shop. Now again, I'm doing fall, spring shop, fall, spring shop. This is not a paddle. It's a cutting board. Apparently you're not supposed to spank people with this. <laughs> Don't, don't worry, I didn't get arrested. I didn't just go up to strangers. But when I was showing my husband this stuff, I'm like, look what I bought. <laughs> I have an issue. I love cutting boards. What I don't love is how expensive they are. People are nuts for what they are trying to sell. Target lost its mind. Walmart. Walmart. What what happened to Walmart? I am not paying. I mean, did the price of wood also increase with air? Everything has gone up, right? So apparently dirt Probably dirt, you know, actually I know dirt costs money because I've tried to put dirt in my backyard. But anyways, <laughs> yes, I had to buy dirt. But anyways, um, everything for, for cutting boards is ridiculous, which is why I have such a teeny one. But we're going to do something cute on here, either chalk paint or decoupage. Or I don't know what we're going to do, but you're going to see this in a fall video very shortly. And we're going to do something very, very pretty on here with maybe obviously ribbon, flowers. There might be a rub on transfer chalk. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be pretty. And anyways, uh, $6.99, sorry, $9.99. See if this, even if this wasn't on sale, like if this had been a regular day, I would have walked right past this too. And this is one of the smallest ones. They had really pretty big ones, 
But even at 66% off, I'm like, y'all have these in a decorative store because you know these aren't meant to be used realistically. Realistically, wooden cutting boards should not be this expensive. But it's popular now for decorating. It's popular now for just setting it out in your home or to do DIYs with them. But it's like finding them where I'm at. I don't really go. I, I go to like one thrift store by my house. But I don't live in a city that's got anything really old. Las Vegas, if you look at how how much older things are going towards the East Coast, you've got a lot more antiques. You've got a lot more opportunities to find really cool aged and, you know, just worn, weathered stuff. Like, I, there is not a barn anywhere near me that we can rip down and take the wood from. I would love to have some real barn wood. That would be my goal. Like, this is a real piece of barn wood, and now I own it. But anyways... I don't know how I got off on that tangent talking about a cutting board. What? Just anyways, so yeah, saw something squirrel shiny. Anyways, cutting board. We're gonna do something with it. Sixty-six percent off a of nine ninety-nine. This one I wasn't mad about because it's about the same price as the cans. The same thing. So it was like uh, three dollars in some sense. So I wasn't too mad at that because again, see that thickness. That's a decent thickness. It's got a nice mitered edge on it. It's sanded. I was, I'm looking in and possibly thinking of trying to make my own. So that means I'm going to have to invest into some wood cutting equipment and not lose my fingers in the process. I like my fingers. I would like to keep all 10 of them. I don't know that I am that coordinated and or careful enough to not lose one, but I would like to try to make my own because then you can buy large amounts of wood at a much deeper discounted price. But the sanding and the what I don't know how much effort's involved in it because I'm I'm a sucker for cutting boards too. I'm just not a sucker for the prices. I'm sorry. That is not going to happen. Not going to happen. Dollar Tree has some thick ones out with their fall stuff. Okay, Dollar Tree has... Oh, I've seen them. They're like this big, right? The little ones? They're in the crafter's square section, right? Not the... Not the... Um, the crafter square little cutting boards. I've seen people do a couple DIYs. They're, they're, they're part of the plaques, the wooden plaques. Every Dollar Tree I've been to has that little box of plaques, but it doesn't have the one that looks like a cutting board because I'm telling you, I would buy all of them. I tried to look online. You can get a case of them, but they're mixed. And I guarantee you I'm only gonna get like two out of all 36. Like here's a bunch of squares and circles. I know you don't have those. They're not very common at all. Squares and circles, you want those? Yeah, we'll give you two cutting boards. I've seen those. I've seen lots of really cute stuff. They fit perfectly on those little Dollar Tree crates and it would make a cute little toolbox because you know no one's done that yet <laughs> i would love to see those but i'm telling you i'll still buy them if i find them trust me i will buy them if i find them oh i found the hooks here's the hooks i was telling you guys about look at it doesn't this green form oh it's so cute she's so cute it's, it's a hook i don't know how it can be cute you got a bigger one brenda you're, it was a bigger one so it was a bigger wooden actually wood i've never seen wooden that sounds pretty awesome for a dollar 25 you can't be mad i'd buy that for a dollar 25 dollar 25 i'd buy that for a dollar well brenda that is awesome i will keep my eye out which means i will go to i i, I tend to spit oh, words into sentence making i tend to spend the majority of my time in the dollar trees in the crafters area the seasonal areas i'll go and run periodically through other you know other than the, the picture frames and stuff i will go through from time to time like the um, beauty aisle sometimes. Um, I've gotten my husband his shampoo. My husband is a very picky man on everything, food, all kinds of stuff. And also shampoo. So I don't know if he wants me to tell everybody who's going to watch this, but he likes green apple suave shampoo. Normally, you can find that for $1.98 at Walmart. Not recently and not where I'm at. And I'm like, I do not know why this one is out so the grocery stores walmarts haven't had it he comes with me to a dollar tree one day and he finds them in dollar tree so i'm like can't be mad and they're the bigger bottle it's not the little tiny 98 cent bottle from walmart they were the bigger like taller bottle i'm like okay so how many do you want to buy because i don't know if we're him. because he's a creature of habit he doesn't you know so very nice long story about the, my my husband's shampoo. Aren't you guys glad you tuned in to hear about my husband's shampoo? He has like no hair anyways. He shaves his he like shaves his head. He used to do the motorcycle thing with helmets all the time. So it's like he has no freaking hair. He buzzes it like 
this is a one and this is a two. So that bottle will last six years. But anyways, Dollar Tree. Why they have these things, I don't know. But I will look in these aisles because I don't normally go to them. I will look for uh, wooden cutting boards because I've seen plastic ones and I have two red plastic ones. If you guys know what I mean, there's red plastic cutting boards you can get at Dollar Tree. I have two of them. I do not know what to do with them. I don't know if chalk paint will stick to them. I don't know if I want to put the effort or the time into trying to do something with them, but I, I mean, I could. But if you guys have any ideas, throw them down below or comments uh, in, in the video after the live stream's posted. Put those in the comments there too or here. So there. I just don't know what to do with those plastic ones. I've, I've never seen, I've seen someone make a, um, Jackie with Bless Beyond Measure. She made a really, really pretty uh, toolbox out of hers. But I think hers were black or white. And I don't know if she painted them. I have to I have to think about it. But, you know, I want to do something different than just a toolbox. I've done two toolboxes. I mean, I, you guys are going to see more toolboxes. But <laughs> I want to do some. But I have those plastic ones. I don't know what to do with them. Sidetrack just a little bit. You're very entertaining. Thank you, Barbara. So. These guys here were also 50% off of... $4.99, so I got them $2.50 each. They're really nice, uh, heavy, I don't know, that's not brass, but a heavy wrought irony. And they're already wrapped with a really pretty little jute. And so that's what we're going to do here. They're going to go right in the middle of this canvas. So I can still hang anything on here. So I have two hook options for whatever I plan to make. If I'm going to make a swag or if we're going to use it to hang these cute little wreaths on. We got, you know, the, the hook, it's, you know, regardless, the hook won't show, obviously, when I have my items on it. But should I not have anything on it for a while, it still has something here in the middle. And it's still pretty on its own, even if you have to leave it a little naked for a little while. It's still not a bad thing. It's still good. But these are what I, I couldn't pass these up. And I still like the color that goes together. So that is something you will see in an upcoming video. Because I told my husband, he's like, when do you want me to start taking things down and hanging it? I was like, I need to show them first. Then when I'm done with my live stream and I show them, then we can rip it all apart and I'll record it and they'll see the, you know, beautiful chaos that it is of how it, how it came to light, how it came to light. And hopefully that helps some of you guys that wanted to see me, you know, actually stage and decorate some things, not just make them. So we'll take them, we'll make them, and then we'll use them to decorate. For glass and shiny items, use Dixie Bell Slick Stick. It acts like a primer. I have heard of that, Barbara. Thank you. I've heard of that. I know um, Kathy, Crafty Kathy. At vintage oh my gosh what's her name I love her she's I love her to death she just lost her sister recently and and I she uses Dixie Bell on a lot of stuff and I've seen her use the slick stick but I didn't even think about it like I think you put it on it's like a you said it acts like a primer but it's not paint or is it a paint that's my question is it actually paint so I have to still paint over it but I'm willing to try that I can look into buying some stuff some more stuff I got all kinds of. That's, I love buying stuff. We'll see how it goes for glass and shiny items. Okay, we'll see glass and shiny items. So plastic, it's kind of a slicker, shinier plastic that it's got a little bit of texture on it. But I plan on like maybe gluing some scrapbooking paper to it or decoupaging on it. I just don't know if it would peel or not. I know chalk paint won't stick to it. The chalk paint won't. So I've seen these. These are uh, farmhousey um, coasters. Seven dollars ninety nine cents. 66% off of that made me happy and you've got a pig a rooster a cow and a windmill that's what they all look like and I would have preferred like four windmills because windmills screams farmhouse. you know basically screams it at you it's not just like hey I like farmhouse it's like farmhouse yeah I love that um but these are good I've seen a couple people use these in their DIYs now these I don't know if I'd use this as a coaster Drinks and things don't really sweat that much here in Vegas unless we have a little bit of rain, which we did recently. So like I'm dying in like 10% humidity. I know guys don't, don't come for me. <laughs> I'm not used to it. I live in the dry desert, but I mean, you figure out the holes that are in that, but I've seen people do some really cute things with these in DIYs, putting these in the frames, putting these inside, you know, just putting these in the middle of, put a bow and some ribbon around it. Whatever it is. Basically, all we're doing is taking stuff, mounting it on something else, adding a bow, adding some florals, painting it. Who knows? All of it looks really cute. And these little animals are cute. But again, this this one's my favorite. And then the chicken. Then the chicken. The one, or the, the, the windmill and the chicken. 
but I grabbed those. I've seen them in the store for a while, but again, I wasn't going to pay $8 for some four coasters. That's just, if I'm, I'm if that makes me cheap, then sure, I'll take, I mean, I have no problem accepting that. I just know how to look for a deal. And then I know how to try. Depends on how badly I want it. But it's like these little guys I loved so much, but I wasn't, you're, you're not going to, I'm not paying $10 for that. Because the amount I have to spend on the dang uh, florals to put in it, it's going to be more too. Okay, so yes, you have to paint over it. Okay, so it is. It's like a it's a base coat, like for fingernails. You gotta put base coat down so it doesn't stain your nail. Same thing, base coat or primer. I gotcha. All right, Barbara, thank you for that. I would look into it. This is what I got when I went with my sister back the next day. They had all of their candlesticks for 50% off. So normally $12. So I got them for six. So I got two for 12. I'm not mad at that. Candlesticks are another thing. Why are they so expensive? Why on earth does all of a sudden you take a piece of wood and you make it super cute? That means now this is now 90 some dollars. I'm like, Ugh. I should probably buy a, 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 a lathe, a lot, the spinny thing, you know, the spinny thing where you make your own. I've, there's a couple of YouTube channels I like watching just because sometimes woodworking is very calming just to watch all the little wood shavings fly off in the air. I love that stuff. And there's some people I follow that do it. I'm thinking I could do that too possibly losing fingers also but if i want something and i want there's an easier cheaper way for me to get it maybe i should maybe i should try these things but in any event i got two of these and these are going to be in a diy you're seeing soon they will also be on my staging here for my whole project we're going to do a dollar tree pumpkin diy so i'll have a matching set on either side You'll see that coming up soon. I didn't have anything this short. I didn't want them to be the longer, taller ones. I needed to have two short ones. So I bought those, $6 each. Love it. I'm the same way. I love watching woodworking channels. All right, cool. All right, me and Wally are like, you know, one in the same. Sorry, guys. It just like dug in my eye right here in front of you. But, <laughs> uh, me and Wally, yep. Yeah, girl, we are the same. I also like watching people cut soap. Is that weird? It probably is. I don't do the ASMR so much. I don't need to hear the sounds. It doesn't, I just like to see it. But the woodworking, when they're making things and they've got those different tools and then you just see the wood spiraling off. And then I'm like, I want all those shavings. I could put that as filler in some glasses or in the bottom of candle holders. Give me all those wood shavings. <laughs> I love that stuff. <clears throat> love that stuff. Okay. Now the rest, of, okay, lastly, let me just show you this real quick. This was also Spring Shop. I had all this other little tiny stuff inside here. So um, this was Spring Shop, $7.99, 66% off. Can't be mad at that. What I'm going to do, this will be in the Sunflower video. So if you have a Hobby Lobby, go take a peek. And if you want to duplicate it, this is one of the smallest ones. And I picked this color. Yes, they have even watched videos on carving candles. Oh, you mean like the ones that they dip them in all the wax and then they pull it out and then you see them like pull it and then they twist it and their fingernails look all pretty and nice. And then they're all, I love those videos. Mostly like half the time if they're speaking in it, it's Russian. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. I watch those too. I have it. My, my suggested feed is full of all kinds. You can really see something. You really learn about people when you see their YouTube suggested videos. Mine are all over the board. <laughs> but I have woodworking and I've got that candle carving stuff in there too. I also have people eating food, which I don't really care for. It's mo mainly the recipe part, like watching them make the food is fun. Then you get hungry. So I got to kind of calm down and go to woodworking because then I don't really want to eat that. There is my water reminder once again. My last live stream, the water reminder came up. Now this one came up again too. I will drink my water. Sorry guys, if you heard that loud waterfall and now everybody has to go to the bathroom. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> you cannot silence that notification because it's like you will drink your water. And if you don't want to drink your water, I will remind you in the most quietest, embarrassing way. You will be in a silent area and I will make the loudest water noise because you need to drink your water. So yeah, it's the kind of reinforcement I need. <laughs> Anyways, back to the topic. We are going to use this in the sunflower video you will see coming up. I'm going to put sunflowers in here. I love this blue color. It's a it's still a very fall blue. It's not cobalt spring and summer blue, but this is a fall blue. And I bought these little guys from their wood pile selection down their wood aisle. All of their wood pieces were I want to say 30% off. They weren't a, was it 30 or 50? I don't remember what it was, but it was enough to be, I was okay with it. So what I got was, it says tread wheel, three eighths inch hole, eight pieces. I got a bag of these guys. 
And I'm going to double them up. I'm going to double them up and I'm going to use two, the, th the thickness of two here, as feet on the bottom of this little guy here. And then we're, we're going to do some sunflowery stuff. And there may even be like, I don't know, something on the front here. There's going to be something we're going to do to this. But this is, this is coming and those are going to be the little feet on it. And that was all Hobby Lobby. Now you can use anything for feet. You could use votive holders, the little tiny glass ones, and we can paint them. You can use the candle cups. If you've got those from Amazon or from anything, just check your stash. You can use a lot of stuff. You can even use uh, thread, thread, old thread spools. If you have like plastic ones left over from thread or um, spools that you have from ribbon, we can cut those up. You can use those too. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy these, but I bought these also because I don't have a lot of feet. I have little tiny ones, but not anything big. So this will be in our uh, sunflower video that is coming soon. Then um, I also bought these because I felt that they're cute little like candlesticks. Actually, oh, it says candlestick. <laughs> I thought I was going to say something weird like, you know, shot glass, wooden shot. I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> they're candlesticks, seven inches hold five pieces. These were $4.99 for five of them. I am going to be using one in the very next video. This is one of the ones where I was like opening the bag to take one out. And I was like, oh, I have to put that back or I'm not going to show them. So these were pretty affordable. I don't remember. I want to say 30% off, but I don't think I would have. I don't think I would have bought 30% off. I want to say maybe 50. Maybe it's 30. Who knows? 30, 50, whatever. I bought these from Hobby Lobby. They will be in the very next video. We're going to use them as a pedestal on one and then I'll have four left over that I could use for feet on a future product because I will always find a use to put little feet on things because I love doing it. I think they're cute um also this is all wood pile I got these little finial dowel caps because they're super teeny I have little tiny dowel caps you guys have seen me use in other DIYs that I got at Walmart they're a plaid brand you get two sizes you get eight total four big and four small in one bag but I don't have anything that's this small and I plan on using these in one of the other items I showed you today, but we will stay tuned to see that in a future video. But this is another one of the ones that I got because I am going to use them as feet. This was $2.99 for nine of them. So again, not mad. Also, you guys, you can use these as stems on pumpkins. If you're making pumpkins out of like books or squares of fabric or oh, even this, I bought this. I couldn't say no, a wood pile uh where are we at here wooden shapes you get eight of each so i got eight squares eight circles eight ovals and they're a very decent thickness so we could even take the little squares here this wasn't my plan and i wasn't going to do it um and then to put these little tiny finial caps right on top and then put some you know little tendrils on there little you know pit berry garland to get those at, at dollar tree or some raffia painted painted orange and you got some little cute little stand-up pumpkins these things I had planned on doing anything with. This was just a, a purchase because I am going to, I can find something to do with these. These are a good little, you know, backup piece to keep in your stash for anything that you might find to use. So it was $4.99 and I've got eight of each. So I've got eight, 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 16. There's 21 in here. There's squares, circles ovals one two three four five okay so no i got eight and eight sixteen twenty four there's twenty four pieces in here that's not bad at all so again i don't know if it was 50 or 30 but still i did not pay 4.99 for that but there's a decent amount 24 pieces in here and they're a good thickness good size good quality and i still think comparable to some things that you get at hobby i mean um, at dollar tree these are a little bit better and a, be a, much, a much better deal, especially for size and quantity and price, if that's something that matters to you. But I bought those. That's what those is. And then, of course, the little caps. We're going to use them as feet, but you'll have extras left over. You can use them as stems on anything. Same thing with this. You can use these as stems. I've seen someone do that on, like, the big crates, like the big wooden crates. Uh, Hobby Lobby had a bunch of, like, decorative ones that already just said, like, pumpkin patch and all kinds of stuff on them. Super cute. I got these because I didn't have any. I went through my fall bins and I did not have any. Now, the reason why I bought these is because I get 12 of them. And at Dollar Tree, I don't remember how many you get in a pack, but I do get 12 of them. 
and uh, they were $2.99, so 40% off of $2.99, but I got 12 of them. And they're a good, decent thickness also, so comparable to Dollar Tree. Again, my Dollar Trees don't have any, so I grabbed them now because you never know. When we had the supply chain issues back, what, year ago, the fall stuff didn't show up until December out here. Like, our Dollar Trees were, un were, were stocking the shelves with their fall things in December, so usually they're doing it now. So you never know how things go. You're trying to kind of go off of what your experiences are. So I was just worried maybe we're going to end up with another situation. I bought them now. Long story over some wooden pumpkins. I know. I am nothing if not a creature of habit. Love you guys. <laughs> and lastly, let me make sure. I got, oh no. I, I, I got another bag I just saw right here by my foot. But there's only two things in it. Now here these guys are here. You know what it says? <laughs> Good. It's a wood pile. They are two and a half inch white wood letters. Two and a half inch white wood letters. Now what do you think I'm going to spell with the letter P? And then umpkin. So I got, I got pumpkin. P-U-M-P-K-I-N. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. So they were originally... 99 cents each, so 30 or 50 percent. I think I want to say 50 percent, so it would have made like 50 cents each. That's not bad at all. Two and a half inch letters. So I had them all spelled out, and then the girl at the register's like, What you gonna spell? What you gonna spell? I'm like, Pumpkin. <laughs> so what is it like? Pumpkin. <laughs> like, like, yeah, that's right. Pumpkin. So that's, that's a really pretty look, isn't it? Pumpkin. It's almost like when you get a tattoo, you better make sure you spelled it right. I'm like, I spelled it wrong. I need to. Can I? Can I do an exchange? I bought the wrong letters because I can't spell. I, you know, my cart didn't have spell check. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> have you put your plaid decor and pumpkins out yet? Okay, Brenda. Sort of. Because it kind of never got put away. <laughs> like, from forever. <laughs> I have pumpkins out year round. But my actual fall decor, like my decorating stuff, it's separate than my crafting stash. That's up in the garage right now. It has not been brought down just yet. It is still a little too hot. I don't want to put my husband through crawling up into the garage to get it. We have like these little things in the rafters where we can pull all, all the stuff down. So it's not like he has to crawl into the attic or anything. But with the heat and everything else like that, my husband has MS. And the heat's been doing some stuff to him. So it's all manageable. Everything's fine. It's just one of those things where I'll just wait a little bit longer before I do that. But the, the next thing will be the, probably the Christmas tree. That'll come out first and then I can show you guys maybe a time lapse again. I don't know. I did time lapse like five years ago, but um, of me decorating it. Also, I haven't actually gotten those, those out yet. So that actually might be a really good video just to show you that I'm going to throw some stuff in there that makes no sense and it'll be beautiful. Might take me a minute to get there, but it'll be beautiful. So anyways, we're going to spell pumpkin. We're going to put it on something. I don't necessarily have the base of it figured out, but the word pumpkin will be on it, possibly a hello or a pie or I don't know. Something will be on it. But I bought enough to spell pumpkin. And then lastly, lastly, let's see. Same here, Brenda, same here. Okay. So lastly, oh, I bought this for my sister. I forgot I have this. I, I bought this for my sister. This is going to go. She wants me to make it rain. So this was another spring shop goodie. Ended up being, it was $20, so it ended up being like 6 bucks and 40 cents. This is a very decent size for $6. Can't be mad at that. And look at that cute little detail on it. And this was a smaller one. They had bigger ones than this. So this was a smaller one. I don't know if they had two or three sizes of it, but they had all of their spring shop stuff all lined up. And again, 66% off. And it's probably going to go deeper discounted in the next week or two. So they'll probably have that up to 70 and when I've experienced, I've gotten to sales, by the time it hits 80, it's really picked over. But there's still some gems to find. There's still some stuff to dig in there. So wear your comfy, excuse me, wear your comfy clothes and your comfy shoes and be prepared. It's like going to TJ Maxx or, you know, those places where you literally need to dig and you need time. <laughs> but you need time and you need to be prepared to dig once it hits 80% off. But still, 66% um, off. Anyway, I forgot that I put that in with my stash. This is technically not a DIY. I'm going to make something for my sister, uh, for my mom and her kitchen. Now, lastly, last two items, guys, and we're done. I promise. I promise. Love your plaid. I love all of it as well. If I could show you how many spools of ribbon are right over here, just all buffalo check, all gingham, lots of pumpkins. 
I got a bookcase here and a bookcase here on each side full of ribbon. I'm not buying any more ribbon either. No ribbon, no flowers, no florals, and no scrapbook paper. I didn't buy ribbon today. Isn't that good? Hold on. There's no ribbon in here. All right. Now I can go buy myself some ribbon. <laughs> I stuck to it. So, short story. Everything for fall at Hobby Lobby was 40% off. They had their stems down, like the long stems, which are usually always more expensive than everything else in the store. They had their stems down and looked beautiful because nobody had, you know, dove into it elbow deep, digging for something in the back and then ripping it all up and letting it sit on the floor and everything. So it looked really pretty to look at their displays because you could tell they had just stocked it and it was really nice. But all of their bundled items, they had that stuff up in their bins, in their plastic bins, above all of the shelves so that a short person could not get to them. Now, I noticed that at the store I went to on the day before I took my sister. So when I went back with my sister, I was like, I'm just going to ask them because I want it. This was also in the picture I put online that I was getting myself in trouble. I was like, I only want one of each because everything's 40% off, right? And she goes, oh, yeah. I had to go ask somebody. Then I had to go get a poor, poor girl to crawl up a ladder to get. I just said, I want one bundle of the leaves and one bundle of the mums. And I couldn't say no. Look at these colors. That is just a beautiful, beautiful combination. And these leaves. Now, look, I, I love traditional fall. I love oranges. I love all that. We're going to see a lot of oranges. I'm going to do a couple different types of colors in these videos that you guys are coming that are coming toward that are coming to you but i don't know what it is about fall florals when they're not traditional i love i love all of it you guys i can't i don't discriminate i love all of it so i bought one of each now these weren't exactly cheap but they you know this one i had to dig for i believe it's up here so 40 percent off of 13.99 so i got 40 percent off of this and i believe this is also the same 14 14.99 so this was $14.99, this was $13.99, but they are so full, and these blooms, I mean, again, every once in a while, make a small investment, and then your items will last you longer, and you can spread them out. We can cut every single one. Even look at these leaves. Don't throw these leaves away. Look at that beautiful, even the backs of them. They have a nice, almost a dark olive color to them, so they will look good in a lot of different projects. Remember... I'll use a couple in one project and then what will happen is I'll have like four or five left over and they'll just sit in my stash for years. So that's why I said I'm not buying florals. And I didn't. See, I didn't buy florals. I bought a pack of gum. <laughs> but I bought these two because I couldn't say no. And again, they are going to go and you'll see a couple things highlighted here and here. And that's why when I got to the other small aisle, all these things together... For 40% off, I did not spend a lot of money, but these are all going to be stretched across many DIYs, many of my home decor items, many of my, my, my own personal decorating projects, but you can't, can't go wrong. Small investment, small investment. And again, these guys here, cheaper than Dollar Tree right now because of the sale, 40% off, cheaper than Dollar Tree. So never think that you can't afford it just go in and look at it. i know sometimes it sucks to go look at stuff when you know you literally can't spend anything and you can't go buy it i have never liked window shopping the only thing i've ever liked looking at was probably maybe i don't know chris driving around looking at christmas lights that's about it and like going into a store when you literally know you can't get anything that's that's not fun it's not fun for me but when you know you have a little bit here and there and you want to make an investment don't be mad. So that's why I stick with neutrals. This guy will be good when we go around to a lot of holidays. So that's why I have the opportunity to buy it. I bought two of them for the price of one. I'm not mad at all. Not mad at all. Gorgeous. Love that combo. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Brenda. All right. That's it, guys. I got a lot of stuff. We went through all of it. You see all this wonderful pile of junk everywhere. We went through a lot of stuff here. The little cans are so cute. And then there's the... Um, the shelves we're going to do. And then look at this right here. Look at this perch. Oh, you can't see her. Look at her perch. It's a baby. She said, Mom, I'm hungry. I need you to hold me. <laughs> that's my little Zoopy. That's my little Zoe. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully the jibber jabber was great. If you have anything or you think of any other ideas, feel free to come back to the video. I mean, it will be posted. So if you're watching the playback, thank you again. If you've gotten this far, thank you so much. 
Uh, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. It helps YouTube know that you guys like me and suggests me to other people because everybody needs a little crafty thoughts in their lives, even weird ones, right? <laughs> so that's it. If you guys have anything else, let me know in the comments. And again, you can follow me on Instagram. I have I get Instagram messages. I will answer those. Facebook, I'm telling you now, if you watch, if you're if you're watching from Facebook, I don't follow Facebook. My Facebook page is just there because it's linked to Instagram. I post everything from Facebook from you from Instagram to Facebook, and I periodically will check it. But Facebook is not my favorite or my main way. So. If you wanted to message me or send me pictures or anything, definitely do that through Instagram. I do not know if you can do that through YouTube. I think YouTube wants an email address, and I don't have one for my crafty stuff. So best way to contact me directly is through uh, Instagram. But I check comments here on YouTube all the time. Uh, you can always comment on one of the community pictures on my community tab. If you don't have an Instagram account, that's okay. I will check everything. I get notifications a lot, and I ch I'm on my YouTube channel all the time. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate every single one of you. I love y'all and thank you all for joining me and jibber jabbering and keeping me company. Of course, of course. Love you too, Wally. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. Actually, after this, I'm going to do dinner and I'm going to get to recording. So I have a video out. I'm going to give it to you guys tomorrow. I made something for my home. I made a short video. So I am, I'm, I'll put it up tomorrow and then I'll have a fall video of fall DIYs to make on Friday. So I got a video I'll show you guys tomorrow. I'll, I'll upload it tomorrow morning. I'm saving it, but I'm just too excited. So I'll give you guys that tomorrow. So hugs, happy crafting, and I'll see you guys shortly in the next one. And then again, also, if you guys want to do a, a live crafting, not just, hey, look at the stuff I bought, look at everything I bought. <laughs> we'll do we'll do something small and fast for, for that because you know I'm going to end up making it last an hour anyways. It's just, I, I guess it's just in my chemical makeup as a woman or a human, whatever. <laughs> all right, guys. Hugs. Happy crafting. Love you all. See you in the next video. Oh, God, I'm old. All right. Bye-bye.